Hey everybody, welcome back to Reality Game Masters. I'm Rob Sestrino here with Entertainment Weekly's Dalton Ross. Welcome back to Reality Game Masters. Let's see where we left off. I sincerely don't understand the game enough to know what's in my best interest. Cochran, would you like to come to the war room? I'll absolutely come. Just you two? I'd like to go. No. You know, Cochran and Ian are sort of like parallels of each other, right? Like he's this, you know, Cochran is a survivor nerd, Ian is the big brother nerd. I can definitely see some kind of alliance happening there. I am very worried about Cochran's affection to the big brother people. I think that Cochran plays a lot on his emotions. Um, and Cochran and I are really good friends out of the game. Um, but I worry, I worry that maybe I'm being a little too harsh on him. I'm often kind of screaming at him to tell him what to do. How'd that go? Fantastic. Yeah, I still don't get what, why exactly are you so wildly possessive of a uh, Middle East? Like one concession will make it seem like a little bit more. Take Middle East, fine. Yeah. yeah. Right? I think, I think I'll just take that. that. Okay, what? but take that, Cochran, but put all six of yours here. I'm fine with that because I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'll put them all there anyway. The reason that uh, I really wanted Cochran to focus his efforts in Europe versus the Middle East is that um, I'm still a little worried about Eric Stein. I'm still in a precarious position. I feel like we're on the seesaw and it's going to go one way or it's going to go the other. I have to remember that Cochran often doesn't play with his head. He plays with his emotions and he proved that in the season that he played with me. He, you know, he defended his best friend, Don, because he felt emotional towards you know, the Upolu tribe. Come the merge in Survivor South Pacific, I was in this really pivotal position. There were two tribes, and I was the man in the middle who got to decide which tribe succeeded. As luck would have it, I'm in the same exact position in risk right now. I got the Big Brother faction trying to woo me, asking me to flip over to their side, and then I have my Survivor buddies, who I've known much longer, asking me to stay with them. Ian, bring it on. <sighs> All right, uh, I'll go with Scandinavia um, to Iceland. Oh, come on. Cock, can you just throw me under the bus? He goes in there with you and now he's attacking you're me. That, you trust me that little that you're automatically jumping? No, of course not. I didn't do anything. Are I'm you still there for like 30 seconds. My god. Sophie is, a, I don't know, hypersensitive or something because she assumed that I was somehow to blame for this. And during my war room meeting with Ian that I either, you know, encouraged this sort of behavior or advocated it or, you know, came up with it in the first place. Uh, which isn't the case. Ian pulled me into the war room, wanted to talk some strategy. He seems very concerned about my place in the game. Whether it's genuine or not, I have no idea. But he seems convinced that I'm at the bottom of my alliance with the Survivor players. And he thinks I should jump over to the Big Brother people, because otherwise I'm just facilitating an easy Sophie or Steven victory. And it, 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 it irks me a little bit that Sophie has so little trust in me that she was so eager to blame me for an attack Ian made against her. Does it make sense for me to put them here? Uh, why not in Western Europe? You could stage a very formidable force oh, here. Oh, for the love of God. No, Cochran, no, seriously. Is, what's You've been taking it out right now. This is literally a horrendous idea. No, it's right not. Now. You're You're gonna gonna together between the two. You will be, if you take Ian out now, I promise you, you will be out on your next turn. But right now, this round is the turning point. Everybody's going to be getting cards. This is the point to get somebody out. Sophie is bringing up a good point. If you take someone out of the game, it could be great. But the only thing is that Ian has 22 guys left, and you only have 18 or 19. So... He may as well just come after you then. I have to say, I think this game is almost completely up to luck. And granted, I have very good dice rolls, but because it's up to luck, I care about us three getting to the end, and I'm okay with either of you winning. I can't, that's, I'm, I'm open about that, because I know that if you beat me, it will be completely luck and not because you're smarter than me. <laughs> that should be all you need to hear. This is getting ridiculous. They are giving you atrocious advice. All right, so Cochran's got a choice here. He could stick it out with the survivors and go after Ian and try to knock Ian out of the game and take his cards, or he could do as Matt and Eric are pushing him to do and go into North America, because Sophie is very thin in North America. It's there for the taking. I'm not sure he should do either. I'm not sure that he should, he should go against his alliance partner. I'm also not sure he has the armies to take Ian out. You don't want to thin your armies unless you take that player out and get those cards. I'm not sure he has enough people to do it. Are you letting me do that? Can we go into the, can we go into the, no. into the war room? Why not? You went into oh, the So I'll go to the war room. Please, yeah. do Can I come? No. <laughs> I know. I just think this is... Look, 
I get, I get why you're concerned. I understand why you're concerned. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to take a big risk, but I've already taken a big risk. I exhausted a lot of troops. But I'll, I'll do it the next round. Is yeah, the thing the thing is, like, this gives Ian a chance to like refortify. Oh, he's going to get. He's, his troops are really spread out right now, in a yeah. way that he's probably not even aware of. You guys haven't attacked each other at once, have you? You know that you're giving him horrendous advice. We it's all know terrible. that. That's fine. And it's Great. funny, too. Yeah, it's hilarious. Great. Do your thing. So it's cool. Let, <laughs> let, let Stevens, Mongolians, and his like, all deplete themselves so you can wipe out the whole board. Then Sophie's going to win the whole thing. But that's bull. <laughs> right. It's a bargaining thing, Sophie. Sorry? Yeah. I'm going to bring down Sophie. I'm, I'm, no, we're going to bring down, <laughs> gonna bring down man. I know that that appeals to you. Just, yeah. We're not stupid. We all know what's happening. And next round is strip risk. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think Eric was so against it? Not for your, not for your benefit. Yeah, may as well attack me. She'll be out on her next turn. I'm just having a fiesta. All right, buddy. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm putting my troops in. Uh, you I'm, just. Okay, I mean, you know, I put my troops in North Africa, and I'm going to use Egypt to attack. Well, I don't know what this is. As an aside, if you fail to put him out right now. I'm going to attack you through and put you out of the game. Great. You know. I'm cashing in on my next turn. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Cochran is spreading himself way too thin, and if he thinks that, you know, by trying to take me out, it's helping his game and not just helping Steven and Sophie more, then he's crazy. Cochran loses one. It's two from Cochran. You're asking me to go against all these things? No, you're not going Just as far as you can. Oh my god! Look, man, I don't you know. You have no one left! <laughs> it's over! Very basic. We learned this when we, were, when we were just little kids. Counting, basic counting. Let's count the blues, and let's count all this. Why would you fortify here when you can fortify there and wipe out this small number of sporadic armies? And why would, right, you what's could have the reason a to bring in of like 30 back? countries right. every turn? Doesn't make sense. I think I'm just gonna re fortify now. I think that Cochran is a pawn in this entire game. I don't think he's made one decision for himself. He is blatantly lying through his teeth about not knowing how to play the game. He is being bullied by Sophie, much like he was on his initial season of the show. And I believe he's going to lose, badly. Attacking Ian in um, Ukraine. Ukraine. It's one more. All right, things aren't looking so hot for Ian right now. Here comes Steven, and this could do it for Ian. We could have our first person out of the game. Yeah, he's gonna finish what Cochran started, and he's gonna get the cards, and he's gonna get the armies. It's two of Stevens. The best part of Reality Game Masters, Dalton, is that we have a special helper here to help facilitate all of the interactions that the players are having. Right. We have some on-set security. You may know him from Survivor Cook Islands. The one and only Billy Garcia is uh, dressed today in his Reality Game Master's uniform as Napoleon Billy Part, removing the players that are eliminated from the area. Ian is out. Oh, here comes Billy. Sacre bleu! You have been defeated! <laughs> Whoa. Oh. From most recent winner to most recent loser. Oh. Ian, first person eliminated from Reality Game Masters. What went wrong? Cochran is playing for third place. Sophie will win this game if things do not change. All right, great game. Any last words? It's not going to end well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Ian. And back to the game. Cochran is probably going to feel like an idiot. He should have moved towards Asia and started taking out Steven's pieces or try and, tried to get rid of Sophie. I mean, he is playing for third place. He is letting them run the game right now. I found Cochran to be pretty receptive uh, when I was in the war room with him, but I don't know, he, he seems to not be playing logically. It, apparently it's his first time playing and it shows. Right now, the survivor players have an edge, but you know, I also have a secret alliance. And I think that secret alliance, interestingly enough, is actually really blossoming. 
you know, that secret alliance could really pay off big in the endgame.